this is what happens when my stuff is all over. This happens when my son comes in here. All right, well today I want to share with you what I got from Lakeshore and uh, the 99 cent store for the fir freshman first day decor. And I want to go ahead and get on here and show you guys the Amazon order. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello, cosmetology instructors. Okay, so I tried recording earlier, but it just didn't happen. My son came in here and it didn't work out. I did clean up a little bit of the mess and put everything back in the boxes over here. And then I've got um, my table set up on this end. Since then, whoa, the camera's going to fall. Okay, it's a little, since then I went ahead and um, I posted on Instagram. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Finally, y'all, the cosmetology planner is here. Um, well, okay, almost. This is the, um, the sample. No, it's like the final rough draft. Um, I am so excited for, look, look at that. I'm so excited for this, guys. I cannot even tell you. Um, we've got field trip stuff. We've got note paper. We've got student rosters. We've got, we've got budgeting. I'm so proud of this page. We've got some, um, at a glance lesson plans. We've got some with calendar. We have got the student tracker. I cannot, I can't, I can't contain myself. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, y'all. I finally got it out, and like this is the back, the cosmetology instructor. So this should be out soon. How soon? I don't know, but soon, for sale. I don't know the details. Don't ask, because I don't know it yet, but I'm so excited to get this out. Finally, it's been like a dream of mine forever, and so finally getting it out there. Um, but hopefully it's something that, it's what I do in my classroom and if you've seen my videos and you kind of see kind of how I do things, I put it all in a notebook. So what I did is I went and I bought a planner, and I think I told y'all about it in one of the videos, but I went and bought my planner. Y'all know I love me some happy planner. I love their stuff, right? So copying them a little bit, yeah, it's like, you know, because they're amazing. I really love it. I still buy their stuff. I still buy their pages, their inserts, and their accessories, and their stickers, and their sticker books, and I still totally support them. I'm not trying to take away or be better than them, or I wish I could be as good as them, but um, they cater to everybody, right? I cater just to instructors, cosmetology instructors at the moment. Barbering and all that will come later, but right now it's just cosmetology instructors, so I'm not trying to like be more than them, right? Or be them, just like them, because <laughs> I love them so much. But I went up, I went looking for my planner, like I told you, but I didn't really, I didn't really, I wasn't feeling it. I didn't love it. I was 100% satisfied with it. And I was like, why don't they have something for us? And so I made it. I finally made it. I've always wanted to do it. And so I finally made it and I put it together. Sometimes, you know, when I buy the planners or even not even happy planner, like any other like lesson, like from Lakeshore Learning, which is an educational store, um, I go and I buy like a, a lesson plan book and I'll tear pages out of that one and then because I like these pages and then I buy another one, I tear pages out of that one and I put them together and punch the holes and I put it in this one because this is what I love. I love this concept um, with the hole punch that you just put any page together. But it's like I'm spending and I'm buying and I'm cutting and pasting and clipping and and so finally I just made my own and I hope that it I'm gonna use it this year and I'm kind of gonna improve it as years go on but I hope it's something that um, other instructors can also find um, useful and resourceful because I know it's kind of like what I, I I need and I do and I teach and I, I want and I look for and so I put it all designed it drew it out designed it and then made it on the computer and then printed it and then now I just gotta produce it, right? Like mass production. Well, not even that much because, you know, I know my market is small. But um, anyway, so that's that. So I want to go over with you guys the Amazon, okay? So we're what, like a day four? I don't know. Today is uh, July 10th. Days are flying by and I'm trying to get everything done and I, I can't try. I wanted to record every day, but I just couldn't. I can't. It's just too much. But, um, 
So I have a little something I've got I need to add. I want to do, and I need to get this over with, so let me fix the camera, and I'm sorry, I should edit this out because this is a little bit less professional, but I'm just not going to, okay? So just bear with me because when I, look, after I finish recording, say I spend 30 minutes recording, they have to edit it, and I have to watch it. That's another 30 minutes. And then I've got to render it, and that's like three hours. I don't have time for that, okay? So, sorry that I, it's not like a cool, awesome, fancy YouTube video, and sorry. But for those of you that stick to me, or with me, thanks. I appreciate it. Um, that's why they're not amazing. So today, I want to say, let me get this over with, and we'll do the Amazon thing, but I went to Lakeshore, um, and I bought, y'all, look, the, they had, the purples are not the same color, but um, light mauve and blush <gasps> the borders cute so this matches my classroom color so i'm taking down the black and white stripes and then we're doing that okay so for the first day of well let me just do it in here for the dry erase like i bought purple towels and then i'm just going to cut them into smaller rectangles or squares and use them as rags to clean the board but it's color coded Right, because in a salon, you want to do the same thing. So, like, when we do our salon build, um, I teach the students, um, I take the students to a salon tour, and we go to different salons in the area. I try to do a barber shop, a nail shop, a hair shop, a full-blown salon, a small one, a, a, a mom-and-pop uh, franchise. I try to do, you know, all of the categories. A spa compared to, that just does aesthetic stuff compared to something that does just hair or everything. And so when we go do those tours, I mean, it's a lot to coordinate, but um, when we go in, I always tell students, look at all of the details. Look at the colors. Look at their tissue uh, box holders. Look at their carts. Look at their, um, uh, you know, folders. Look at their, in their office. Look at their sheets, their towels there. Take a look at all of that and, and does it all match? Does it all go with the, the salon theme? Or is it like hodgepodge, like there's green there and pink there and red and brown and or, or does it have a theme because when they build their salon their mini salon that we do for skills use competition and for school for a grade for the three chapters in the milady book um the business chapter so um i they have to pick a theme and they have to pick a location so where in the world would you put if money was an issue where would you go put your build your salon okay um i say you're gonna go to um colorado Okay, and a little cabin in the mountains, woods or something or whatnot. Okay, great. So you're not going to have palm trees, right? Then go with it. You're going to have rocks and you're going to have wood uh, in those neutral colors and you're going to have the greenery and you're going to have like that kind of environment, ambiance you want to create for the experience of the brand of your salon right like when you go to walmart it's a certain experience compared to when you go to target to compared like when you're going to go to um you know it's just it's a it's a business basics right and so the little minor details of color coding everything i don't just do it because i like to be matchy matchy as y'all know but because i like when my students come into the classroom wow it's a different it's an experience right and so i teach them that when their client goes into their salon, their spa, their their suite, their station, their room, their service, whatever, into their space, it should be an experience from the time they come through the door to enter to the time they get out of the door to leave, right? And they, they exit the door to leave. So that, that's why I create that environment for the classroom and that's why those minor details are so important to me. Okay, um, and then plus it's matchy matchy and I love that, so yeah. And you gotta freshen it up, you gotta change it up, you gotta be, you know, you can't, you, you, the clients never get, well, I'm not gonna say that because there's those clients, but you know, typically a client will come in every season and say, okay, I want my hair cut. Like, they have it down here and they want it up to here, right? They change their color, they change their wardrobe, they, you also need to change, and I, I teach the students that for sure. Okay, and so then another thing I found was um, Tupperware. So I, this has nothing to do with school other than it's matchy matchy, but um, these are, I found in the dollar store. So I got me some Tupperware, and then um, if I do like a raffle or if I put candy, like candy jar, um, I 
it matches, right? And so if they answer a question, I have like little Hershey Kisses in here or little gummy bears in here, individually packaged. And then, because you know, if, you, if it's not individual, individually packaged, besides it's unsanitary, um, bugs can get in there. So keep that in mind. And if you do give out candy, make sure it doesn't have nuts and make sure you didn't make not like the Jolly Rancher, they can choke on it. And I know they're older, but you know, you know, anything happens, but chocolate just eats when it's small in the mouth and it doesn't make a mess, right? Plus they're fairly expensive. So um, anytime I have a container, if I see something purple or whatever matches the space, I like that. I also want to teach the students that when they're in their environment, you know, if possible, um, because that, you know, your space is like your home. If you don't love your home, if you don't love your kitchen, if you don't love the design, you're not gonna feel happy. It should be a happy place. And so whatever it takes to make that space a happy place for you, that's go for it. And, and some of you guys don't like the matchy matchy and that's okay. And some of you guys do. And you know, that's just, it's up to each person, but that's kind of what, why I look for those things. Okay, beginning of the school year. Okay, we have ninth freshman first day. So that's on Monday, on a Monday, and it's when only we have a half a day, and only freshmen come. They come, they go to different rotations, different uh, areas in the school, and they have like assemblies. Like they tell them about the rules, they tell them about dress code, they tell them about different things. And then there's like the lobby where there's like the clubs and organizations. There's no breakfast, there's no lunch. I don't believe those days, or maybe breakfast, but not lunch. But um, and then like they go to their, their they walk their um, schedule and they're in each class for about 10 minutes and but we and then they just go home and that's it it's just so they can get like not be lost because they're freshmen the first time there and then the second day the official first day of school then they had they got a little taste of it and they're not too completely lost although most of them are most of the time but um, then when everybody's there it's not too crazy overwhelming I need to change the battery okay there you go. So back to what I was saying, then we meet for the official first day of school all together, regular school day, you go to homeroom, do all the paperwork and all that. But the freshman first day, we meet in the dining hall, cafeteria. We're just fancy and call it a dining hall. It's cafeteria. So um, we meet by pathway. So auto tech and welding and audiovisual and health science and, you know, cosmetology and criminal justice, they, we all have our spot, right? And then um, they got this idea from Dr. Ryan. Shout out Dr. Ryan if you're watching. Um, so she, last year, she brought balloons to mark her tables, right? And they were color coded because they're black and blue, of course, because, you know, police officers. So for law enforcement, um, and then they, they set that up. She set that up. And I thought, oh man, and I'd have time um, to do that last year, but I said next year I'll do it. So at the 99 only, only 99 cent store, I found this for 7.99. It is a little balloon tabletop circle um, thingy. I bought these purple balloons. They're clear with confetti, and then there's like the mylar heart and stars, and then just right, and then I bought this one. And this one was um, $4.99. It's small, fits for the table. This one comes with the balloons. It's a unicorn, but I can put something else on it. But it's just to, again, it should be an experience. If you start it off like when the kids go home, like their mom says, hey, what'd you do today? Oh my gosh, the, the, the tables are decorated. And then the, the classroom was this, and the teacher was that. And this excitement. It makes the student want to come back into your classroom. It makes them want to come in and if you change it up every now and then, like, oh, what's new? What are we doing this week? What was she doing different? What am I learning now? What am I gonna get out of this? Well, I'm glad that I applied to come to school. I applied that I, I'm glad that I applied to get here and to come here and you know, I'm missing out on my regular, you know, homecoming because we don't have that, we don't have sports on our campus. You know, I'm glad, I'm, I'm okay with all of that, missing out because I get to do all of this. Right, and so I know that that's a sacrifice for some of the students to do that, to leave their home campuses and come to us, but so I try to make it as as a, as much of a great environment and experience as I possibly can. And so that's why I get these things and why, you know, I, I try hard to, to do what I do and uh, focus on all the small details, okay? All right, so now that we've covered that, let me go ahead and talk to you about the Amazon orders.
All right, guys, so I'm not recording the screen. I'm or doing a screen recording. I'm actually recording the actual computer, okay? I don't I have time to do the whole fancy schmancy stuff, so we're just going to go with it. All right, so my planner from last year, okay? Last school year. As I go through the month, at the back of July, I have a list, okay? And so this list here... Um, this is on the right side here, my wish list, things that I would love to order for next school year. And then this on my right are things that we used, meaning used up and have no more of a need to reorder, or things that we um, just need to order, okay? And so as the school year goes by, I go ahead and write down all of these things down. So that way I know that in all my bins and boxes, I don't have to go through it all again. I've already written down here what we run out of and what we need. And these could be, I mean, obviously basics like four by fours or hair lightener or gel or color, nail polish, things like that. You obviously know your acetone, you know you need those. Those are your staples, but unique things. Um, those might be some things that you just need to write down. For example, the mapping pencils for brows. I ran out of those, so that's not a, you know, you, that's not a, you know, staple. So I've got to be able to remind myself, hey, I need to, I need to purchase that next time. Okay. Um, the Rosebud Nail uh, Palette and the Nail Art Palette. We run out of those, I for sure need to order those because those are unique, right? And so once I have this here, then at the end of the school year, um, my list is ready to go, okay? So from my list and now from in the journal in the, the new planner, I actually have or I actually made a, um, uh, I don't know, I guess you can say, the supplies to order next year is this one here so of all of the different you know the different areas this is a page specifically so that you can write those things down here right so as you go along and it's by category the reason why i did it by category i'll change just a minute but um that that is a page in the journal but i went ahead and just just made a list right? Just, just a list. Once I have that done, okay, I'm going to then in, in June, uh, when I, you know, learn and everything, I add to it. So any new technique or any new product or every, any new I can add to this list. So that way when I get to my Amazon orders, I know to order it. Okay. So end of June, beginning of July, I've already done it because I've already had to spend the budget for it, but I have the the orders that I need to go ahead and get ready. September 1st is when the budget it comes out. And that's when the CT office says, okay, this is how much you guys are gonna have, this is your budget for this year, and this is what you can you know, spend, and you can go ahead and September 1st it's open, and then you, they give us a due date. So the I've learned that if you have your stuff ready and on um, you schedule that email to share that link at September 1st, or however your system is, be the first one in the basket, because she's got a basket, she starts from the bottom to the top, you know, taking people in order as they come. Then you're the first one, and if you're the first one, then you get the supplies ASAP, right? You don't have to wait in line, right? Your paper doesn't wait in line, and you're ready to go. And then if you get your supplies ASAP, right, immediately, because you're the first one that whose stuff was ordered, then you are ready to teach whatever you need to teach because your supplies have come in. If there's a back order, you get that sooner instead of later because you've placed your order on time so or early or whatever. So that's why I do all of it in the summer so that I can have a successful school year and it's not stressful. Um, okay, so here's how I do it. So I take it from my list. I go down and as I add my, my, my thing here, then I go ahead and um, mark it with a highlighter. If I don't find it, then I leave it unmarked well, that was thunder. Uh, it looks, it sounds like it's gonna rain. Um, that if I leave it unmarked, it's because I couldn't find it, and maybe I need to go to the store, or maybe I just need to, you know, keep looking or something. So that's that. Okay, so let me show you how it's done. And I'm talking with my hands here because you can't see my face. All right. So what I do is on my my account, I have lists, and I and I name them 
Um, for example, I named them uh, done, meaning that I've ordered, I've made the list, I've ordered them already, I've placed the order, they have come in, I have received it, I've checked it, and I've uh, inventoried, it, inventoried it and received on it, turned all the paperwork in and we're done, right? I don't delete it because next school year, I might need to pull items from here to reorder, right? Um, or if I've already placed the order, but I haven't received them, it just says ordered, right? Um, if it is in the next school year, for example, the aesthetics 2020-23 uh, SD for aesthetics disposable, so I call it either nail or aesthetic, or you can do by grade level, right? You gotta make sure to keep it all organized because I don't delete my lists. And I have the buy later. The buy later, I just put things in there. And as we have budget or as I need those, um, I go ahead and, and I'll click on it. I'll go ahead and look through my buy later and then I'll put it in wherever I can. So sometimes I'll sit on Amazon and just go through and search um, different things, uh, beauty tools, aesthetic tools, um, nail art designs, nail art, nail polish, new nail products, whatever. And so I'll just add it to my buy later, buy later, buy, and then later I come back and then I sort through and I'm like, okay, well this is um, body art, this is uh, um, for the airbrush makeup, this is body art. We have the guns, for the, the beauty brushes, what they call them, the, the airbrush guns, um, and this just is the, the paint, right? So that is a nice to have, maybe not this budget, maybe not this month, if we do salon day services, then maybe I can, we can raise money to buy them so we can teach and expose the students to this, you know, technique or skill or whatnot. But I put it in here and I don't delete it, okay? And if I, I can just leave it in there and say, do for later, right? And so I have this long list of stuff that I just, you know, find and think, you know, oh, this would be great, I would love it. And it's a really, really long list, okay? So I just want to make sure that, um, I have it there for whenever I'm ready to go. Okay, so let's just make, I'm gonna make a list um, to show you how um, I do. Okay, uh, create a list, and then we're just gonna call it sample. Oh, and this is kind of what I do, right? I forget if I can't delete it, delete the whole thing. Okay, so we're gonna call it sample. I'm gonna create my list, okay? And I'm gonna go down do exactly how I do it, okay? So I'm gonna go mapping pencils for a browse, okay? Mapping pencils for browse. Okay, so these are my mapping pencils for the browse. So everything comes up. And so this is what I do. I, I shop, okay? I wanna find the most amount of product or tools for the least amount of money because my, I have a small budget, like that's all I got, right? And I need to make it work with what I got. And so, and I, need, I have a lot to order. Nails requires a lot of little things that cost a lot. So does this, that aesthetics, this, the product is expensive and then the consumer, the disposables, like the four by fours, kind of, you go through so many of them, they need so much, okay? So, um, Let's say, you know, I, I, okay, waterproof eye pencils, right? And so this is 12 for 17. Uh, this is three for 25, well, definitely not that one. This is 11 for 13, okay, well, and then it comes with extra stuff. So, okay, this one's looking better, but this one has better reviews. This one has only three reviews. This one has 2,747 reviews. And so that's what I look at, right? And I scroll down and I scroll down and I keep going. Oh, look, this is 14 pencils for $9.99. I only get two blades to sharpen and I don't get the extra stuff, but I get more pencils. And if I cut these in half, then now I have 28 pencils, right? If I cut it in thirds, well, and then, then it's, it's looking good. So let's say that I go with this one, okay? And I, I take a look at the ratings, right? And then I look at the other options and what colors they have. I look at all the videos and make sure it's all good because you know Amazon. Let me tell you something about Amazon, okay? Um, I do the, um, let me turn it this way and it's gonna be like really close to me, I think. Well, maybe I shouldn't turn it. Let me just turn this back a little bit. So, okay, let's try it this way. 
Okay, with Amazon, you have to be very careful with what you're ordering. So many times I get really excited and I'm in a hurry and I, oh, I overlook all of these very important things. And I order things and I get them and I'm like, who ordered this? Because I don't think that I did it because I would have never ordered that. But I did because I didn't pay attention. I, I didn't know. Um, I didn't know that you have to take a look at the measurements. That's why there's the picture of um, sometimes not this one doesn't have it. Doesn't have this one, doesn't have it. But they'll have like the picture and the measurements, right? Just got to measure it. Sometimes in centimeters, um, and it's a big number, but you're like, oh yeah, it's big, but it's in centimeters, not in inches. So you got to pay attention to that. The other thing is the ratings. You've got to take a look at the ratings um, and the reviews to see what people say. It is super important, especially if you're buying a big ticket item because um, people have already purchased it and they go in and if it's a bad or didn't come out good, they will put it on here, okay? And so it's very helpful. Um, so I'm the coordinator for um, social, I'm the social event coordinator for the neighborhood that I live in. And um, we're doing a fall family fun fest in November and I've already ordered supplies because school is going to start and it's going to get busy. So I went ahead and ordered the, the items for the thick little carnival. And we're going to do um, bowling with bowling pins and the pumpkin. So I went on here and I ordered bowling pins, which, you know, bowling pins are what, you know? Yay? Hi? And it was like 17 bucks. This is the ball I came with. This is the bowling pin. This, what am I supposed to do with a pumpkin? Rolling a pumpkin, really? I'm supposed to, they're not even heavy enough for them to like not fall over. I didn't read the reviews. So when I got them, I was like, what is this? I can buy this at the dollar store. Like I don't need to pay $17 for this. I could have bought 17 for $17 at the dollar store, right? Well, not anymore because it's more expensive, but anyway. So then when I went in, just out of pure curiosity, I'm like, what did I order? I went in and I took a look at it and I was like, a lot of people said on there very small and a lot of people put pictures on there. And the lady had a picture of this little bowling pin next to a table a centerpiece. And people would say it's small, very small, very tiny, very, I thought it was big. Had I taken the time to look at that, then I would have saved it because I ordered two. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make it work, right? Because I already threw away packaging. But anyway, and I'm not gonna do the whole return thing. I will figure it out. But anyway, it's just super important to make sure that you take a look at the reviews and you make sure that what you're ordering is what you are expecting that you're gonna get in the mail. All right, so let's go back to the computer. Okay. All right, so once you get to all of that, right, let's say that I love this product. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, just check and you can see. Okay, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to add to my list, and I'm going to put it to my sample list. Oh my gosh, I have so many lists, it's ridiculous. Okay, sample list. Okay, then what I do is I look through here, right, and I scroll as much as I can. And then I find what else is out there supply-wise, tool-wise, product tools-wise, or product-wise that I don't know is out there, that I haven't seen before, that I don't know, that I don't have in my toolbox. So I'm like, ooh, I have these, but ooh, what's this? Is an eyebrow ruler? What? You can do that? Wow, look at that. Okay, well, this is 100, okay? So then what I do is I come back up here, and then I do eyebrow ruler y'all it's gonna about to thunder it's thundering that's what it's not my tummy for i'm like it's the the thunder out there okay so then i'm like oh, okay amazon's choice okay obviously a lot of people like that um okay so i look how many you know how many this one has a hundred this one has 10 this is uh, you know disposable reusable this is white this is clear transparent um there's you know shows a little video of how to use it and so I go through, this is, you know, um, uh, actual rectangular one. This is actual tool. This comes in a roll. This comes in a... So I take a look at all of this and I'm like, okay, I need to find the one that has the most and the one that's going to um, be the most, least expensive, right? So let's just pick this one. So I'll pick this one. 
and then I go ahead and I'm like, oh, okay, I love it. I look at the reviews. I look at what all the pictures are. Okay, yeah, we can definitely use that for when we're doing brow design, right? And uh, the anatomy physiology, anatomy of the face, the structure, the muscles, the um, when you're doing the contouring for makeup. I know we don't, you know, license uh, makeup, but and that's not on the test, but we still teach it because we still definitely do it. I'll use it a lot. So then I put it in my sample list, right? And so then from here, I continue to go. And obviously for this is gonna pull up a lot of the microblading, but in which we don't, we don't do. But then I just continue to look, okay, well I don't have anything else here that I, I'm interested in. So then I go down to the bottom and then I take a look, okay, what else is frequently bought together? I take a look at that, no, I'm not interested. And I look, products related to this item. Then I come here and then I'm like, oh look, finger cuts, right? Um, this or this is a string it has little finger cuts so they're selling the string here but they have the little finger cuts here like they're the um finger or the gloves for individual fingers I'm like oh my gosh i forgot i didn't add it to my list or maybe i did but i do i know that i'm out so then that reminds me i either go ahead and write it down to come back and look for it later or i can go ahead and look at look for it now right so then um i go across all the way to the end and okay let me go back one what did that say anastasia tool stencils what i didn't know that was there we all know about anastasia right and so, yeah if y'all ever if y'all have never um searched up her story she's got a great story and so whenever you teach history cosmetology that's a great one to do or you can introduce brows that way i love her story um it's on youtube you have to check it out but anyway so then i just continue to go from here like i just i keep looking and looking and this is how I, oh, what's that? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a new, pro oh, I have, it. I don't have that. I, don't have, I can teach that if, with that tool and I can, and so it just kind of, it, it just keeps going, right? Which that's the point. Amazon is, you know, totally, you know, doing its job by, mar you know, pulling out more products that I might be interested in. That part is working. But for me, I'm being exposed and I'm being able to see and check out what else is out there that I don't have or what is that there that I could possibly expose these students um, to, right? And so that that I like about all of this. So, and then when you go down, of course, you know, there's similar items. You can, you know, do price points and um, they're just, they're just list upon list, right? And the reviews and all. So that is how I do my list. And so then let's go back to the sample list and then here I have my list for, you know, my, my budget up here, my list. And then let's say that this is for, for aesthetics or for my freshmen or for my seniors or for my color class or individual lessons or whatnot. Or maybe if you want to do it by chapters, chapter one, Amazon list, chapter two, chapter three. And that way you have it organized. When you place your order with your bookkeeper, don't delete it. Don't delete it. That's the key. Keep it, right? Be, or make a copy of it, have whatever, print it out, whatever you need to do, but d d keep it. So that way, next, when you get your supplies, let's say I get these in, okay? I place the order, they come in, I receive, we're good, we paid everything. Now it comes time to do this lesson. So I'm gonna do the brow lesson and I go ahead and use these stickers. They're very hard to peel off of the paper. They're, they're thick, so they're hard to bend. Um, the numbers that I didn't like the way the numbers, the measurements were on there. I, yeah, they were too short. You know, they weren't long enough for everybody because everybody's different. Some have bigger foreheads like me, some are smaller, whatever. And so they just didn't where I didn't like them. Then I make a note here and I say, um, brow stickers, find new, change them. Didn't work, didn't like whatever note I need to make on here. And so next year I'll pull the sample or that, that particular list up cause I need to reorder. And then from my list here, I will delete this, right? I, I didn't like that. So we're going to go ahead and delete it, but I, I need to find a new one. So then I go and I do the process again. If it was something that I absolutely loved, for example, the, um, what was it that I, I, had, I just said the rosebud nail palette, Oh, and it's in here, but let me just search it. Um, nail. Oh no. 
No. Oh no, what are they called? Oh no, no, no. Bros bread nail. Oh no. Sticks. No. No. Oh my gosh. Sample. Oh, I forgot. I totally. It's these. Swatch, swatch. See, and then you just forget. And, ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. I like that. This is the look, y'all. And see, this is what I love about Amazon. Um, it's, it's this, it's this kind right here. It's a swatch. It's the shape of a rose. And see, and you just go down and down and down and you can just, oh, look, these are for samples. I hadn't seen that one. That'd be a good one because we do need to order that. And, and so when I'm looking, I'm like, oh, that'd be good. Oh, that'd be cute. Oh, ooh, look, a nail chart. <gasps> y'all, look at the, oh my gosh, y'all. Freeze. Okay, no, check this out. This is, I just found this, but I'm going to, this is what I do. I'm, I'm busy doing a video, right? But this, I love this. Look, it's a ring, right? It's a rose ring. There's 50 of them for $7.54, right? And you polish them. Oh, look, there's roses and butterflies too. Cute. And then when you polish it, look, that's the color of that nail polish. I don't know how well that, I don't know that that would last on there, but I like that. I like that it's cute, it's different, it's unique, it's cute, it could be your brand, you know, can match the brand of your, you know, to the brand of your company. I look, there's butterflies, there's clear, and then there's that yellowish color, and then the flower. Okay, well I can't do all my research right now, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come here to add to list, I'm gonna put it in my buy later. So in my buy later, right, I wanna come back at a later time, I don't wanna lose it. And then this fall, this uh, 240, uh, the tip chart, um, the color uh, sample. Oh my gosh, what are they called, y'all? Oh, brain fart. Anyway, so I'm gonna add this to the list because I wanna check, come back and check it out at a later time too. I just can't right now because I'm doing this. But when I when I look, so I was looking for the other thing. Look, I got off task. But this thing right here, this is cool. When you're teaching gel polish, when you're teaching the um, Oh my goodness, the hard gel, right? And so you can teach them how to make this design. So you can start off by taking one of these little sticker decals, teaching them how to apply this teacher, teacher uh, sticker decal to the nail, but then using the hard gel to teach them how to create this design. So whether they want to create the design on the nail with the gel or make these to sell because they have, they open up a business, uh, a design business, right? A nail art design business. And then they put their nails, their gems on there, which, you know, we also teach. So then I really like this uh, for a lesson idea. So then I'm not gonna put it in buy later because I'm interested, I'm totally interested. And then I'm like, ooh, what's this? What what else is this? Oh, these are little flowers. Yeah, okay, no, I'm not, I'm not digging that. So I'm gonna go back. And so that is kind of how I spend my time. I know I don't have life. Um, so that's kind of how I spend my time. That's that's how I get my, um, let me see if I can find it in my list because I don't remember exactly what it's called. Whoops. Um, but that is how I do, that's how I do it, right? And so I get all this done and ready. And so I have it ready for September 1st. Whenever it's ready, set to go, I click share. And then it sends it to my, um, my bookkeeper or our bookkeeper. And then they go ahead and they place the order and whatnot. I don't see it on here. Uh, let's see, disposables, SD products, nail disposables. I believe this is where it's at. So this in my nail disposables is about 400 bucks. Files, pushers, um, washcloths, nail tips. Uh, nail tips, we go through so many nail tips. It's nice. Oh, here it goes. Look. And this time I found a cheaper one. Is it gonna open? There you go. So this is where when I do for the Day of the Dead, this is a better view. When I do the Day of the Dead, this is a rose, and so they paint the rose and then the stem green and then their Day of the Dead nail designs. I, you guys have seen a video of it. This is where I got it from, right? And so I love it because it's unique, it's different, it's not just like a nail tip, it's not just a press-on, like it has an actual little 
a theme to it and it's unique and it's different and so when I move from one project to the other the students like ooh what's this and oh it's something new and something different and they can use it and take pictures of their work and put it in their portfolio and when they go get it you know apply for a job and they go take their portfolio to the interview they look at it and the, the person that's doing the interview takes a look at it and like wow you did wow, what school did you go to man I didn't do this when I was in school right so that that just it just all comes full circle okay so that is kind of how i do the amazon lists and again remember don't delete them okay don't delete them um just put done and come back and next school year you know like for example done this is a wish list that we got the rolly cart that we ordered if i want to order another rolly cart i want it to match so i didn't delete the list because I want to make sure I get the same one. And sometimes it'll tell you, oh, like this one is not back in stock. So I could at least find something that is as close to possible, as close as possible to this design, but not particularly this design, right? So that we don't have like a hodgepodge of like 20 different things or different designs or colors or, but it's very similar. And so then I keep my stuff just to make sure that, you know, this is all the equipment stuff that we ordered, like the practice hands and all that. Um, so, ooh, what is this? Yeah, I need to stop. Okay, so that's kind of how that goes. Okay, so once I, you know, have my list and I go through, I want to make sure, now here's the thing. Now, I do remember and I was told, so I completely understand and completely respect this, um, but just a tip, okay? If you don't get to do all of this, and again, you don't have to use your summer for this. Understand that I don't have a life. Okay, my, my job, my career had been my life for a long time. Now I have my son, so like he is my life, you know. Um, but, you know, if you're crazy busy and you're doing a hundred a million things, you know, in the summer, don't feel bad or don't feel guilty. You can do all this stuff during the school year, you know. This that I'm doing now, what are we in day four, day five? Um, this that we're doing now, you can do it in May during school. Right? You don't have to do it in the summer. You can have it ready ahead of time so that way you don't have to work in the summer on this stuff. But you're still ready for the beginning of school year. If you're not ready for the beginning of school year, that's okay. That's okay too. Start in August when you go back and then go ahead and get it done. Okay? Work slowly through it through the year. Build your Amazon list. If you don't want to do the whole do this, that's fine. As you run out of things, log on to Amazon and then go ahead and search for things, put it in the buy later. And then when you come back to it, to the buy later list, then you're like, oh, I need Q-chips, I need cotton rounds, I need polish, I need, I need, you know, and then you can go and do all of your, you can shop around, okay? Um, and so it just, it makes it a lot easier when you have a system. Now, um, not everybody's that way. Not everybody can order from Amazon, not everybody's school district, Amazon is not a vendor with everybody. Um, I just know that bag. Uh, it's my to-do bag and got a pile of things I got to do back there. Um, so not everybody's able to do all of that, right? So, you know, do with, you know, with any other vendor that you are able to use, it works. This works. Okay, writing it down so that it's easier for next school year. Um, and so that's kind of it. So a lot of times teachers will ask me, oh, where did you get this? Or where did you get that? Or what is the name of that? Or I'm going to order on Amazon, da, da, da. And so it takes me a long time to, oh, can you please email me so I don't forget? Email it to my school email so I don't forget because I get messages on Instagram, on both my personal and my, um, the cosmetology closet one, um, or the cosmetology instructor one. And then I also get on Facebook and then I get messen or messenger Facebook and then I get, um, uh, emails or sometimes you get phone calls okay so it's hard for me to like keep up with all of y'all although I love it please keep calling keep asking I love helping that's my goal my my end goal my end game my end goal is to um end game I don't think that's the right anyway my goal at the very end um is to be an instructor's instructor right um now the instructor license is gone, right? But um, this is this is me doing that, fulfilling that dream. So please keep emailing, keep asking. If I'm busy, if I don't answer, I don't know why sometimes I don't I don't see that you guys have messaged. So like months later, I'm like, oh my gosh, you messaged in September and it's already May. 
I don't know why that happens or why the messages don't show up. I apologize. Keep, be consistent, be persistent and then till, till you find me, I will answer, okay? I will help you whatever, whatever, whichever way that I can, as much as I can, when I can and if I can. Um, but definitely, um, it's just, you know, being able to, to be organized, being able to connect with you guys, being able to help out. It really does make a huge difference on new teachers. It's a bit, I forgot what I was saying. I lost you know I lost my train of that thought. I forgot what I was saying. Um, okay, so anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and I guess pause right there. That's that's a pretty long video. I apologize. I didn't mean for it to to get that long. My videos are always so long. I'm sorry, but there's just so much information to share with you. Um, and hopefully it's it's good information and something that you know will help you out, new teachers. This takes time. Don't get overwhelmed because I know it is a lot of information. It's very overwhelming. Just take it, put it in your back pocket, you know, star the video as a favorite. And then whenever you're ready, come back and watch it again. And so then that way you're like, oh, okay, pick up on new little things that you can add on to what you're already doing. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to share with you on how I do all of that. Um, oh, I know what I was going to say. Sorry. So a lot of teachers always ask me, but it's hard, like what, where I buy, what I buy, what's the name. And so then I'm like, oh, email me so I can, when I go to school on Monday, you know, I'll take a look and then I forget or get busy or they don't email me. Um, and so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up, uh, I need to learn about it first, an Amazon front, uh, something front, Amazon, I just, I heard about it. Okay, I'm sorry. I heard about it, and I did a little, did a little video or watched a little video on it. But I was do, clicking and doing other things, and so I didn't focus on it. But I will. I'll take a look at it if it's something that I can do. Hopefully, I can do fast because the end spring and school year is coming up for some of you guys that want to do some of those lessons that you guys have been asking for. But I'll do my best. I'll try my best to whatever I buy, whatever I have on these lists, I'll put them on there so that way it's easier for you because I've already already shopped it's not not a lot of hair stuff i don't you know want to do the hair part but um the the stuff that is in here um i've already shopped already tried and, and i mean i've spent hours looking for the cheapest the best quality yeah you're not shopping yeah this is not from a call okay this is not you know rda or it's not even sally's but um I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty good stuff, some of it, for what you're using it, like it's cholesterol, right? It's not real hair color type of thing we've talked about. Um, and the product, you know, good to practice with at school, right? I don't want to use a $40 little jar of pigment to teach someone how to do pigmented, you know, acrylic or gels or whatever when they're just not interested in nails. It's just, we're just wasting, right? So it's like cholesterol thing. It's we're practicing with these things. So um, I'm gonna try my best to get that front, Amazon front, I think it's called. Um, I'm not sure, but I'll try to get that together. And when I do, I'll, I'll link it or put a video on it or post it on my Instagram. Look, I don't know how it works. So when I figure it out, I'll let you guys know, okay? But I'll try to do that so that way you guys can just go on there and take a look at what their name is and then you guys can have, you know, the list of it available at your convenience. You don't have to wait for me to tell you what it is or, or, or what, you know, size or what quantity or whatever. So um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to, to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time that I put the video up. I'm trying my best to put the videos up that I had not put up from last semester. Just takes forever to render, or last school year, takes forever to render, and then I put these new videos up, and it's just, it's really hard. The new videos, I'm trying to put a picture on them to distinguish new from old, and then the old videos, I just, I don't have a picture on them. But then sometimes I forget to take a picture like this, so, you know, anyway. Um, all right, so that's all I have for you, and I hope you guys have a fabulous day and a fabulous school year. Enjoy the rest of your summer, and we will see you on, what is this day? This is day four, day five, day six. I don't know. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.